You know, in all your spring cleaning, you may have forgotten one place to disinfect. Many of us are probably in a good need of scrubbing online. You know, your prospective employer no doubt has Googled your name or looked you up on Facebook. So is everything there safe for work? So to talk about how to keep your online presence clean, we're joined by CNN tech correspondent Samuel Burke. Good morning to you, Samuel. Good to see you. Good morning, Lynn. Nice to see you. So you gave me a little bit of a scare this morning. You tweeted me that you've been Googling me to find out whether or not I need anything spring clean. Did we find anything? I have good news. Everything is clear. But you know, they say once something is online, you can't take it down. And that's actually a complete myth, Lynn. You can always take something down. Or in the rare case that you can't, you can manipulate your results. But the number one thing that's always going to get you in trouble is what you mentioned, your Facebook page. But you can get that out of search results very easily. Just go to your Facebook page and in the upper right hand corner you're going to see a padlock. There's my page. So you mm -hmm. click that padlock and Facebook's made this a little bit easier lately, Lynn. You click who can see my stuff and then change from public to private. Though I have to mention, Lynn, like I said, manipulating your images can be a way to do this sometimes. So actually, if you think your Facebook page is safe, everything on there is stuff that you want to be out there and you want to get that stuff at the top of your Google results, you might want to make that page public. That way you can uh, bury those embarrassing images so nobody sees them later uh, on your Google results. Huh, so it can that's be a, a interesting. Help. Let's talk about those Google results. How can we make sure that they are the best they can be, so to speak, if somebody is Googling your name? So I started on CNN when I was 24. I had no idea what to wear. Nobody told me. And I have some really embarrassing pictures out there Aww. with me looking like a geek. And so what I've done is bury those images. Some of them are already out there. I can't get them deleted. But if you go to your Google Images page, you can check it out. There's mine. So let's say I have an embarrassing image. So what I do is I have a public Facebook page and a Google Plus page. Google Plus is your friend. If there's something that you want to get to the top of your results, go there, type in your name, upload your picture, and those images will all go to the top of those Google Images results and text as well. So get a Google Plus page if you can't get something huh. deleted and start uploading your favorite pictures of yourself. That will make it work. Samuel, I'm literally taking notes. I'm not kidding. I'm writing down some of the things you're saying because it's really interesting. What about Wikipedia? Um, is there sort of something you can do to help your online presence there or if somebody says something false about you? Well, a lot of people want a Wikipedia page, but you can only have one if you're a public person. But if you have a business that may be well known where you are, maybe you weren't having one, you can edit them. Or if you don't understand quite how the Wikipedia rules can work, you can use companies like Wiki Experts for a small fee. Somebody can go in there who knows how the rules work on Wikipedia and they can improve your picture, improve links, take down things about you that may not be true. And that can only cost you about 100 bucks sometimes. And Wikipedia almost always shows up at the top of your Google mm. results. So that's very, very important. And even if you're not important enough to have a page, sometimes you can be mentioned in another page, maybe a business or something like that. So try and get your name in where you can, but you have full control over that. There's no reason that somebody else should be able to decide your life on, on Google or Wikipedia. Yeah, I mean, what if there is something that's false out there? Somebody said something that was wrong about you on a website separate from Wikipedia, which actually you can edit yourself. How do you contact that website directly to have that taken off? Contact that website, especially if you're not a public person. You actually do have a lot of rights and you can get things taken down. And again, if you can't, just manipulate it. Put in the articles that you like, publish the links to them on your Google Plus page on Twitter, and those links will go higher and you can mm. make that other stuff disappear. Rarely do people looking for an employee uh, go to that second or third page on Google. So just try and bury that stuff if you can't get it deleted. Great, helpful information because there is no doubt your employers, if you think of that they're course. not, you're being naive. They are Googling you. CNN Tech correspondent Samuel Burke, thank you. Thank you.